Hello everyone. Today I thought I'd talk about the Nomad. I've been working on it on and off for the last few weeks. Project has changed quite a bit. Just as a disclaimer, this is definitely in beta. I'm really happy with the way things are turning out. I just thought I would do a video just to describe what's changed. Just because my last video I talked about some of the components and they really weren't up to par. And I, you can almost tell by the sound of my voice that I was trying to convince myself that the parts were adequate. They weren't. Uh, and they actually fell apart pretty quick. Uh, even in the house, not even off-road, uh, they came apart. So, anyway, I've chosen to go with a lot stronger components, higher torque servos, uh, something that's professional grade, and it's amazing. So, let me talk about some of the components. The arm I've chosen to build, and I've got it laid out here for a reason. I just wanted to show you specifically what I'm using. This is subject to change. I'm going to do an Instructables about it, and the parts will be down in the description, but I, I just wanted to show you uh, this iteration of the arm and how well it does and its weight balance, stuff like that. So, <clears throat> the, the this high-power torque servo here, this is a really nice assembly. It's got a nice aluminum bracket around this. It's a, a HS... Uh, 7950th servo. It's got aluminum channel bracket around it. It's a channel bracket servo, five to one ratio. Uh, can handle its weight. Does a really good job. I actually terminated all of the um, servo cables, and then I've got shrink wrap tubing around the base places that I thought would wet wear on the jackets of the cable. So uh, this is uh, Servo City's five inch, inch tubing, uh, and it's really strong. Holds its own. They've got all kinds of adapters and stuff like that, and I've actually channeled the wire away from these gears uh, because during the beginning process I actually put the servo wire through uh, these gears and they will cut so so that's why it looks the way it does also it keeps it nice and out of the way here at the top I've also used a 7950 just because the load bearing servos it's this servo and this servo here is load bearing I'm actually probably going to change this uh, with another 5 to 1 ratio just to make it even that much stronger uh, just because the weight is not that bad so <clears throat> I'm gonna power this up now and show you but I'm not actually gonna show you video of it outside I've been running through the mud with it really happy with the way things are going so um, also I've got a tow hitch and then this is the actual pan and tilt assembly and I've just put some LEDs around this just so I can track it at night time uh, while I'm messing with it so anyway I'll power it up now and just show you what it does So, digital servos, they use more power, but they're a lot stronger in this uh, circumstance. They don't bleed as much, they, they just do a really good job. So here we go. I'll just show you of it in action. So it works really good. Uh, very accurate. I've got these mixed right now. That's not, I, I kind of just left it that way. That was just the way I actually set up the Tyrannus. I'm using the Tyrannus, by the way. And so I have all different kinds of articulation. So that's all the way down, so it doesn't actually touch the tire, which is real nice. 180 degree servos. I've got all kinds of, of strength and articulation, so I can open it that way, uh, stretch it out. So if I need to just stretch it, stretch it out and then go down here, grab something, come down and, and actually grab something on the ground I can do that you can see that it's it's extremely strong so if I still learning the control very much in beta guys so you have to bear with me uh, just so that you can see the strength of the servo is extremely strong um, something I like about it is is while it, I mean, it's in drive mode and the chassis needs to be fast or it's bumping around one of the things that I like about it is, is that I can take this um, and and fold it up to where so I close the the gripper and I can fold it up like that and then uh, go ahead and just stow it and yeah the wires get close to the tires uh, and that's just something I'm working on it's still very much in beta but it, it, it does a really good job just stowing it this way um, does really well so I can drive it and haul it and it, the balance is really well so I can actually take the I have the lipos pushed out to the side here and this counterbalances any weight that I would want to hold so yeah and then here I have a tow hitch uh, which is another Servo City uh, gripper claw um, 
and just some LEDs just around this. Uh, this is just temporary until I actually get some uh, some real LEDs and a uh, some infrared and thermal imaging that's going on the chassis. So if you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm up for suggestions. Anything anything that you guys uh, may see and want to change or suggest. Also, give me a like, subscribe. You guys, take care and have a good day.